this is Bhaskar here and today we are going to learn how you can configure ncd.io wireless temperature and humidity sensor. So in the configuration we'll learn how you can change the sleep duration, how you can change the node ID, destination address, sensor network ID, encryption key, power settings and all other settings. So on the hardware side we have wireless temperature humidity sensor and a USB modem. I'll connect this USB modem to the computer and then we'll run a software on the computer. It's the same software we used in earlier videos to see sensor data. This, using this software, we'll change all the settings. Once we save the settings, settings will be applied into the sensor and the sensor will work according to the settings we changed. So let's go ahead and connect this one to the computer and download the software. I already have the software from the last video, so I'll be using the same software and we'll see how we can use it to configure the sensor. To do that, I will choose my correct COM port and my baud rate. Once you do that, now on the sensor side, we need to power up the sensor. The configuration takes a lot of power, so you should not run it too long. In our case, for the demo, we have to set all the settings so I'll be using external power and I'll connect the antenna as well. Once you connect the antenna and the power supply let's open the UI. So to do that the, as soon as you open the UI you can see the sensor is sending data because right now it's in run mode. What we'll do now is we will put the sensor in the configure mode as well as the UI in configure mode. So to put the sensor in configure mode, what will you do is, there are two buttons. One is named as reset and one is configure. So to put in configure mode, hit the reset and then hold the config button for five to six seconds. What this will do, this will put the sensor in configure mode. So looks like we did five to six seconds. Once you leave it. Now let's go back to the UI and click over here exit and there is an option called sensor configure so we'll click over here you will see there's a green button will light up this means the ui is ready for configuration so to test it i'll click on get delay this will give me the delay value which is stored into the sensor at this particular time so as you can see the value is 600 at this point then we can see what is the power rating on this sensor? Right now it's four, it means it's wireless transmission power is the highest. And then retries and all the other settings. You can find more about these settings on our website in the product manual. Let's go ahead and change the sensor delay to a new value. Let's say you want to send data after five minutes. So you will set delay as 300 seconds. Let's say you have multiple sensors. So you can change the node ID uh, from 0 to 255 and you can put a lot of sensor in the same area network. So we'll click OK and once we do that the setting will be applied and you can see a green light mean the setting has been applied. Now I'll go and click and get delay. So now it should read 300 because we changed it. This is very important setting called get pan ID. This the pan ID represents the network ID. So let's say you want to build a lot of sensor in the same network area. So you can change this network ID to build different, different network pan ID. So let's say you in your company, you, there are five floors and every floor wants to have a different sensor network so that they can concentrate on that particular area. So you can change the pan ID and you can build your own wireless networks. This also helps keeping the network less congested. So it improves your success in the wireless transmissions. On the other view, the other setting is named as encryption key. So this encryption key can be used to uh, encrypt your data. By default, all the sensors with, with comes with encryption key enabled. You can change this key and you can write down because there's no way to read this key. So let's say you set the wrong key, then there will be no way to read it. There are two ways to recover your sensors. One is factory reset and another is pulling the module out and then doing all those things. I will not recommend the module, but uh, the first thing you will try to do is factory reset. So how to do factory reset is press the reset button, then hold the config button 
for 15 to 20 seconds. This will do is this will uh, re reset the uh, module to factory settings. So then you can start using it as a new module. And the one most important thing, once again, if you are using batteries during the configuration, make sure you don't leave the module in configuration for too long. Once you are done with the configurations, what will you do? You, you will hit the reset button. And now the sensor will start working uh, as a regular device and it will start sending data after 300 seconds. And to see that, I'll hit the reset button. And in a couple of seconds, you'll see, okay, there it is. If you have any questions regarding the configuration mode, you can reach out to us on our website. Thank you.